okay so with these values uh, our scene is gonna be uh, much brighter and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the render button for the first time with these settings only that this time uh, we're gonna go to global switches and we're going to uh, deselect this override materials checkbox why? well because I already applied the materials I just wanted to show you how the illumination changes and uh, the thing here is that if we start making renders and we set all of our illumination with a complete uh, white color for everything uh, well, we won't have to set it twice because illumination is going to be different if everything is white uh, and if I have for example in this case uh, this wall here is is brown so this brown color is going to suck illumination so what I, what I would recommend if you don't know uh, yet what materials you you're going to use at least have an idea of what colors you're intending to use and uh, you can apply simple colors and edit them uh, here in SketchUp and everything will be just fine because you will set your illumination and uh, you won't have to do it twice so I'm gonna stop this for a while uh, as you can see uh, here are the the colors that I have I'm gonna close this uh, and these colors these uh, gray colors and these brown colors will all suck illumination so uh, basically I already have all the materials applied but in this case we're just going to play with this because I mean this is sort of an example uh, okay I'm gonna hit the render button uh, let's remember I changed the camera settings and I'm gonna change them I'm gonna increase them uh, even more so I'm gonna go for uh, 500 here and I'm going to go to something like uh, uh, 70 here this is just uh, to show you uh, how the illumination changes with these values so I'm gonna hit the render button and then we're gonna correct the illumination and I'm gonna let you see that okay as you can see uh, render uh, with these settings is too burnt it's uh, too overwrite so what we're gonna do we're gonna stop this and I wanted this to happen because I want you to see how I change the values here so you don't have to depend on any bishop right now I'm gonna move this up to something like 125 and this value up to something like 250 I mean these values are I've used them before so I know they should produce a pretty nice result so I'm gonna hit the render button again and you will see how the illumination is gonna be much better this time again I'm stopping the okay so this is the final render and as you can see illumination is now much better uh, it's not so uh, burnt uh, but I still believe that it has too much brightness I believe that sh this should be a, a little more dark but for now we're just gonna leave it like this in the case that you needed uh, I don't know more illumination or you needed uh, less illumination you can just uh, always go to camera and play with these settings in this case for example uh, this is a little too uh, too bright for me, so I would change this to 2025, 225. I'm sorry, and and this maybe I would change it to something like uh, 150. So this should uh, bring like a nice uh, image. Also, if you see that you need illumination in certain areas, you can always uh, set an omni light or a rectangular light uh, in your scene uh, to help yourself uh, but for now I just don't want to confuse you with that as you can see this is a pretty basic render uh, I just wanted to talk to you about uh, the camera uh, settings but for now uh, we're going to be making our render with an HDRI which I believe uh, that most of you guys uh, would really like to know about so the HDRI that I'm going to use is uh, this one this HDRI I used it for my uh, contest uh, render which is uh, right here uh, it produces a, night, a nice uh, result uh, nice reflections also so what is an HDRI? an HDRI is basically an image I'm gonna change this like here like this uh, what is this? I'm gonna delete it an HDRI is uh, a way to illuminate our models just imagine uh, 
that the whole uh, SketchUp environment uh, is like a sphere, like a world. And this image that I have here uh, is going to be set up in all of this uh, environment. So illumination is not going to come from the physical camera anymore, but it's going to come from the brighter uh, areas of the HDRI. In this case, uh, this part here where the sun is, is going to be the main source of our illumination. So how do we set this HDRI? Uh, we just have to go to, okay, one more thing. Uh, when we have an HDRI, we don't need to have the physical camera on, so we're just gonna turn it off. And then we go to environment. And in environment, we go to this M and we change the text sky for bitmap because we are going to uh, import uh, an image, in this case, an HDRI image. Uh, so we're going to raster this image. I have it here. Wait, I have it here in documentos. Uh, HDRIs, best resolution, and it's this one. Okay, so what's the deal with HDRIs? Uh, I have these two uh, files here. One file is for the environment and one file is for the background. I'm going to use, uh, well, they have different sizes. In this case, uh, you can see that this uh, environment file is actually pretty small. And the reflection one is the large one. Um, and I'm going to teach you why. Okay, as you can see, it's 2.78 megas, so it's uh, much larger than the environment one. So we're gonna use the environment uh, for here, and we have to change this to uh, environment and spherical is okay. We're gonna hit the preview button. Uh, it's just gonna show you show us how the uh, environment looks, but for now it's okay. Okay, and we're also gonna have to make the same thing. Uh, for here for the uh, background M um, so we're gonna select um, again the bitmap and in we change this to environment spherical and we select the map so again I have it here uh, the stock uh, HDRI HDRI solution HDRI3. I'm using now the large one. Why? Uh, as we're talking uh, about HDRIs, well, the environment uh, HDRI map is the one that is going to give us the illumination. So we don't need any details in that in that file. So uh, we can use a small uh, HDRI which doesn't have any details. But for the reflections, uh, we used the large file and therefore we're gonna have a nice resolution image as a background I'm gonna show you how this works uh, I'm gonna get really far from my model so you can see one thing uh, I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna hit the render uh, before we continue okay so this is what I want to show you uh, when we're using uh, an HDRI uh, the HDRI is actually set all around SketchUp. The only thing is that we cannot see it. And the thing with this HDRI is that it doesn't matter how far or how close we are from the model, the HDRI is is always going to look the same. In this case, uh, look at the size of my model because I went really far. Uh, I want you to remember this little thing here. And I also have the HDRI here open. We're seeing this part. Our model is right at the middle and this a complete image is set all around our uh, imaginary uh, sketchup board. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go really close to my model and I'm gonna show you another render so you can see that it doesn't matter how far or close I am from my model, the image always uh, keeps the same. And the next thing is I'm gonna show you how to rotate the HDRI so you can get illumination right where you want it to come from. So I'm going to hit the render button and please remember how the render used to look like and now I'm going to be stopping. Okay again and really quick uh, 
I uh, went a little closer to my model and as you can see the environment looks exactly the same so what is the important thing about the file the size of the files that we use as HDRIs uh, the larger the the file the more resolution we will have so if you really want a uh, like a high definition, high resolution HDRI, you need a really large image uh, for HDRI. So it's not uh, one a simple image. Uh, you have to download or to create an HDRI format image. And uh, well, I'm going to show you where to download them from.